All right, Windows 10. Final release is supposed to be about a week from now. And to me, they don't have it ready at all, if I judge by the Insider preview. Um, they released uh, the, the latest, uh, what is the number now, 1026 something or other, um, just over this past week. And they still have the control panel as a separate thing from PC settings. And you can't get to a lot of things from just one or just the other. So you have to use both PC settings and control panel. That's idiotic. That's just incredibly stupid. They expect people to <laughs> go through two completely different interfaces to adjust their settings. No, that's stupid. <laughs> that's continuing the same bullshit that people were pissed off on, on about eight on. You know, it's uh, like two completely different operating systems haphazardly put on top of each other. Let's see. Now, this may not be the case in the final release, but it certainly has been in their insider previews. Um, Windows Update is compulsory. Compulsory. Com it's required. <laughs> I can't say that word right now. Um, and that's really bad for businesses, because a lot of businesses, they want to make sure that things are they're going to continue to be stable. And a lot of their updates in the past have caused major issues. And companies want to be able to look at how these updates affect things and then decide on their own time when they're going to update. <laughs> you know, bad move on Microsoft if they're actually going to do that. They may not, but if they do, it's a bad move. So, let's see. Um, Customizability, you know, it has, <laughs> I think Windows 95 actually had a little bit more customizability as far as appearance than, than, than Windows 10. Um, <laughs> well, maybe, okay, Windows 98 had more. Uh, Windows 95, yeah, that was, that was pretty limited, but, um, all the window decorations are white. And you can choose this, this theme color that will put a one pixel outline around the window of that particular color you want. Um, but you can only choose from a very select set of colors. There's no true color chooser, color picker. It's, well, you know, choose from these predefined colors. I think there's maybe 32 choices, 32 colors. <laughs> it's like, really? Um, let's see. They still have, I mean, in this version they finally fixed the issues where you can actually import, you have a wizard for importing pictures and videos, no matter what kind of device you're hooking up to it. But, in standard form, like what Google does to their mobile apps, uh, you have no options. It's import photos or don't import photos. That's it. You can't choose which ones to import. You can't choose where they go. You can't choose their file names, nothing. Import or don't import. Let's see, they got rid of the Windows Photo Viewer. You now have to use the Photos app, which for instance, the only way that you can see the name, of the, the file name of the photo you're looking at is by clicking the three little, little, little dots on the top right and then clicking info. And then you see this whole different screen. Look, the info. Otherwise, you don't see any info. Um, none of the apps that, that uh, Microsoft has made that play videos for the, mo the modern interface can play MP4 files or M2T files, MT2, M2T files, without 
putting a reddish tint on everything and turning up the brightness. So black is dull, dark red. There have been complaints about it since, since Windows 8, but they haven't fixed that yet because I guess somehow people don't notice that or maybe people think it's an enhancement or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, if things are going the direction it seems, I have a feeling they're going to probably get rid of uh, Windows Media Player in it. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. But if they're doing that sort of thing with a lot of other things in Windows, yeah, they'll, they'll probably get rid of Windows Media Player and then you have to use these... One of these apps that you get to see full screen ads, well, you know, the size of the window, you know. <laughs> you go to play music with one of those apps and you have the little bitty controls at the bottom and then the rest of it's some picture of someone playing music, you know. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's like those, uh... <laughs> I don't know, I, I just, I, I, I think that's kind of ridiculous to, to set them up that way, but... That's what they're doing. Um, if you've seen the commercials for Windows 10, the, the newest commercials, it's all about devices and children and devices and children and devices. They actually think they're going to get more people using Windows phones. <laughs> it, that's, it, no, no, Microsoft, this isn't going to help that. Um, they think more people are going to use their Surface tablets. Um, no, Microsoft, this isn't going to help that. Um, the computer world hasn't switched over to that yet. You're a little early. Um, <laughs> they're continuing the same issues that made people hate Windows 8. The main thing that they've gotten rid of is how in or, uh, how modern apps and desktop apps have to be, you have to completely switch modes. You know, they got rid of that. They're all on one screen, all in one area. You know, you can have the modern apps on the desktop. That's about the only thing they've really improved on this. The start menu is still basically like the start screen. They never switch back to giving the kind of functionality you had with the start menu in earlier versions of Windows. They never did it. So, you know, it's still a messed up OS, at least in the forms that they've, they've shown it so far. So, this camera's about to overheat, so I have to end this video, but I'm kind of done anyway, so.